Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah al -Brik. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadibiya Palace. The cabinet reviewed a memorandum submitted by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Physical Balance showing that 16 of the Economic Recovery Plan's 27 programs have been completed, with the remaining 11, 11 to be finalized over the next few years. The memorandum also detailed the improvement of economic indicators across numerous sectors as a result of the plan's successes to date. The Cabinet commended efforts made to this end, emphasizing the importance of continuing to work together, noting constructive cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and the role of the private sector in implementing the Economic Recovery Plan and its programs. To mark World Environment Day, the Cabinet noted that Bahrain will continue to implement initiatives that promote a culture of environmental preservation and sustainability. The cabinet commended the announcement made by the United Nations Special Envoy for Yemen, Hans Grundberg, to extend the armistic period in Yemen to, for two additional months, per the term of the basic agreement that went into effect on the 2nd of April 2021. This is in line with the initiative announced by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in March 2021 to end the Yemeni crisis through a comprehensive peace settlement. The cabinet expressed its hope that this will contribute to a peaceful solution that will bring stability. The Cabinet then approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision to establish the National Task Force to Combat Communicable Diseases, which aimed to support efforts to combat and prevent such diseases. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision to restructure the National Committee of World Trade Organization, which is concerned with analyzing international trade agreements and examining their compatibility with national legislation. A memorandum by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding granting the Swiss Federation the right of sovereignty over the data of Swiss subscribers stored in existing cloud computing centers in Bahrain. A memorandum by the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning regarding the implementation of Bahrain's afforestation plan in line with Bahrain's commitments to the goals of the UN Climate Change Conference COP26 or COP26. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to a draft law submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet took note of ministerial reports regarding Bahrain's participation in the 152nd session of the GCC Ministerial Council, the final week of the World Summit on the Information Society, the 75th World Health Assembly and the 151st session of the Executive Boards of the World Health Organization. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Muayyad, who presented to His Highness the Distinguished Senior Leaders Youth at the Gulf level for the years 2020 to 2022. Who presented to His Highness the Distinguished Senior Leaders Youth at the Gulf level for the years 2020 to 2022. His Highness affirmed His Majesty the King and the GCC leaders' keenness to grant the youth the opportunity to participate in the march of development of their countries to achieve security 
security and stability. His Highness affirmed that the GCC countries work as one in regard to supporting the youth and honing their skills and preparing them for the future. He expressed his pride in honoring the youth of, on the occasion of Gulf Youth Day, praised the achievements of Bahraini youth in all fields. His Highness praised the achievements of the youth throughout the years and stressed the importance of building on these achievements in order to enhance the status of the kingdom. Maryam Faqihi then delivered a speech on behalf of the honorees in which she praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasr and his efforts in empowering the youth. Upon the directives of the National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a group of the Bahrain Defense Forces Royal Guard Cavalry led by the Commander of the Protocol and Cavalry Group at the Royal Guard, Colonel Sheikh Ahmed bin Sagr Al Khalifa, participated in the Platinum Jubilee celebrations of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of the United Kingdom in Northern Ireland. Within the framework of historical friendship, cooperation and the steady growth it is witnessing in all fields between Bahrain and the UK during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The performances presented by the Royal Guard Cavalry reflected their high skill and elaborate training. The participation comes within the framework of strengthening friendship and cooperation relations between the two countries and showed Bahrain's interest in equestrian sports and uh, purebred Arabian horses as an Arab heritage and a well-established tradition. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the President of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Jawahar Al Mbatahki, in the presence of GSA Deputy President, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, GSA CEO, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, the advisor to develop school sports at the Ministry of Education, Dr. Sheikh Sagar bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Dean of the Health and Sports Sciences College, Dr. Lina Khunji. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the university's support of sports events and programs which achieve his partnerships and cooperation to develop the sports sector in the kingdom. His Highness and Al Mbahki has discussed ways of developing the academic curricula of the Health and Sports Sciences College in line with GSA policies and in a manner that enhances cooperation between the authority and the university to advance the national sports system. His Highness directed her to provide full support to all the university's administrative and technical cadres and students during their participation with the national teams to achieve outstanding results to promote Bahrain in various sports forms and championships. His Highness congratulated the Education Ministry's advisor on his appointment wishing him success. His Highness directed to follow up on the project to develop sports curricula in schools based on the recommendations of the Executive Committee between GSA and the Ministry of Education to achieve the goals and aspirations of His Highness for the development of sports in public and private schools. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a meeting remotely with editors-in-chief of local newspapers to inform them of the latest developments related to the implementation of the five priorities of the Economic Recovery Plan and its main objectives. Sheikh Salman affirmed the keenness to harness all capabilities and efforts necessary to continue transforming challenges into opportunities and aspirations into achievements in accordance with the visions and directives of His Majesty the King. With the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to all programs, and projects that government agencies are keen to implement in cooperation with the legislative authority and the private sector. He noted uh, to continue to implement the priorities and programs of the economic recovery plan and accelerate the pace of achievements with the uh, highest possible efficiency and quality. The minister indicated that economic diversification efforts are continuing to increase the contributions of the non-oil sector to the GDP in partnership with the private sector as a major driver of the economy. He emphasized the role played by the local press and national media as an active partner in supporting efforts to implement the economic recovery plan since its launch.
The economic recovery forum, which was held under the patronage of Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh, has concluded. The forum aimed to support the visions of His Majesty the King, which were announced by the cabinet shared by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. It provided an opportunity to discuss initiatives and ideas that contribute to the development and advancement of the national economy. The participants in the forum unanimously agreed on the fruitful and continuous cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities and the private sector, which led to finding consensus that contributed to strengthening the financial situation and reducing the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, in addition to advancing economic growth and enhancing its stability. The forum was organized by the Shura Council and Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance with the sponsorship of the National Bank of Bahrain and they witnessed a large participation of ministers and officials from the public and private sectors. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Zayani, held a meeting with the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BBCI, headed by Samir bin Abdullah Nas. Al Zayani praised the great role played by the BCCI in supporting industrial and commercial development in the kingdom. Al Zayani also affirmed that the great role played by BCCI serves the comprehensive development of His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. During the meeting, they reviewed and followed up on the implemented proper to continue developing the economic field in Bahrain. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs welcomed the decision of the Indian BJP to suspend the party's spokeswoman, stressing the need to denounce any reprehensible insults against the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a provocation to Muslims' feelings and incitement to religious hatred. The ministry stressed the importance of respecting all religious beliefs, symbols and personalities and the concerted efforts of the international community to spread the values of moderation, tolerance and dialogue between religions and civilizations and to confront extremist ideas that feed sedition and religious sectarianism or racial hatred.